Yeah, we have a big sign in all of our defensive meeting rooms that say knowledge is power. And what that means is if you have the knowledge of what you're doing, you'll be able to go out there and play fast. You won't have to worry about this. You won't have to be able to, you won't be worried about anything. You just go out there and just go like you said. Uh, Kansas State was able to run the ball on you guys last week, and you guys completed the shutdown tonight. And Coach Briles talks a lot about it. it's different week to week. Was it different the team you were playing, or did you guys make adjustments to stop the run? Uh, we made some adjustments. I mean, it's never about the team that we're playing. We, we have to make our adjustments. Uh, they came out and they had a, a great uh, scheme. Uh, they came out running the quarterback more than we had expected. Uh, and they were doing a lot of different things as far as switching, switching back and forth with the quarterback. So. We, and we weren't expecting that really, and uh, we made it. We made a change uh, for it. Uh, we, we made sure that this week that that didn't happen. I mean, playing those guys, those guys really, really helped us, helped us out a lot, uh, help our defense out because now we, we not only know that we can cover a passing team, now we know that, we, that how to stop a run team that comes out and try to run the ball with their running back or their quarterback. Okay, I saw you get a pass break up that you almost intercepted and took back to the house, and you look like you just might cry after you miss that. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, it's, it's, it's always you always want to get that that big time interception. That would have been the interception that sparked our defense up. I mean, but even though the pass deflection, I'll take it. It sparked us up anyway, and uh, guys came out and got turnovers after us. And I'm proud of proud of the way we played, and I'm, I'm just glad to be a part. Okay, and uh, one of the questions they asked Sam a little while ago was. Can you ever imagine, by, uh, you know, we think about a few years ago, we missed a shutout by like 50 seconds uh -huh. and just furious about it, being upset about like a 70 to 7 win. And uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, it, we wanted to shut out. That's what we wanted. I mean, we didn't get it, but I'll take seven points. We only gave up seven points. I'll take it. Seven points and under 200 total yards of offense of, from a team that just came back from beating, I mean, from playing a great game against Texas Tech last week. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. I mean, yeah, we wanted to shut out. Yeah, we didn't want them to score and all of that. Yeah, that's fine. But, I mean, giving up seven points in, in, against a good team like that is, is always, always good. Okay. And just thinking from last year to this year, Iowa State last year was like y'all's lowest point of the season. And then this year, and uh, you know, when y'all started out the season, everybody was kind of like, oh, well, the defense, you know, if the, you know, if the defense just goes from horrible to average, Baylor will be able to do something. And these last two weeks, y'all shut Kansas State out in the fourth quarter. You shut Iowa State out until it made no difference. Uh, <laughs> Baylor's defense belongs now. Yeah, and that's, that's something that we're trying to keep going. Uh, that's something we, we worked so hard for. I mean, guys are, have been in the film room. Guys have been doing drills. Guys have been doing everything in, the, in our power to, to try to get this defense to where it is today. And, uh, I mean, it, it, it just it feels great. I mean, it just puts a smile on my face when, uh, when I talk about our defense because we've grown so much. And uh, it, it almost brings tears to my eyes because, I mean, guys have grown up so much. I mean, myself, uh, Terrence Lord, Chris McAllister. I mean, I only want to go down that list of seniors on the defense. I mean, but we've all grown so much together. It just, it's just crazy to see how all of this is coming together and, and, and seeing how we're just putting everything together. I mean, I want to say, I mean, I wish it would have happened a, a couple of years ago. I mean, but couldn't have came at a better time, though. Okay, and, like, you, Sam, uh, Bryce, Eddie, uh, y'all, everybody was pretty comfortable with y'all. KJ and Joe <laughs> caught some flack early in the season, right. and they shut them down. They couldn't do anything against them. Can you say a little bit about your corners? I have great corners. Uh, KJ Moore and Joe Williams, Dimitri Goodson, all three of those guys are great corners. Um, I mean, playing that position, and that, that's something that a lot of people don't don't really don't really defend. That's not a, a defendable de, de, uh, defendable position. And uh, playing cornerback, I mean, you're not going to go out there. You're not going to bat down every pass. You're not going to go out there and stop every single catch that they're going to that they're attempting to make. I mean, you you have to go out there and you just have to have a have a short term memory. Uh, and that's that's what those guys have learned how to do. Once they've given up a play, they, they've learned how to reset their minds, how to reset reset their body and all of that, and just go out there and play the way that, that they're capable of playing. I mean, they're, they're great guys. I mean, and they all got something different about them. KJ is a, even though he's a smaller guy, he's more of a hitter. Joe is more of just a finesse guy, and Meech is more of a, of a speed guy. So I mean, those guys all have different talents, and, and having those three guys, I wouldn't trade them for anybody in the nation. Okay, a uh, question for you personally. When you switched and went back to the safety position, 
Do you think this gives you a better chance of playing on Sunday? <laughs> Sorry, that's a cold question. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it gives me a better chance. Uh, I mean, playing that is more of a, more of my natural position, but playing the position that I played, the nickelback position, has has helped me grow as a, as a football player. I've learned so much about just the game, and I've learned so much about our defense. So where I mean, it's, it's when I when I'm back there at safety, it's just easy for me to play. And uh, I mean, I, I used to always be mad at Coach Benny for doing it, but now I, I thank him and I tell him all the time, Coach, I appreciate you for moving me to that to, to that position and helping me to understand the, the game of football. I mean, that I, I mean, the things that I didn't understand about the game. So I mean, with, with me moving down to that position, it was I felt like it was a wrong decision at first, but as time has went by, I, I'm I'm glad that I that I made the change. Okay. And